What's going on guys, this is Jonathan with TLD. You guys saw the unboxing to the new 27 inch Core i5 iMac that was just released this week. So I wanna bring you guys the full review. So we're gonna run through the specs, the features, the pricing, talk about Turbo Boost, and let you guys know is it worth the money and is it also worth upgrading if you guys have the previous model that was just released uh, about a year ago. So let's go ahead and jump right into the review. The first thing I wanna talk about in this review is the screen. It comes in at 27 inches, it's an IPS display, so this thing looks amazing. Uh, the resolution is 2560 by 1440. So it is a little bit different if you're coming from a 1920 by 1080 or 1200 monitor, but once you get used to it, this thing looks nuts and it's really a monster of a display. So movies look good, gaming if you're editing video you have a huge amount of screen real estate, Final Cut, uh, Photoshop, anything like that you take advantage of it from the display. So in the box, now it comes standard with the wireless Apple keyboard and the wireless Magic Mouse. Uh, you don't have to pay extra for this, this comes standard. As we flip it over you guys can see there's a nice brushed aluminum exterior on the whole back of the iMac. So front and back aesthetically this thing looks fantastic. Uh, now we have the power button, as we move down we get the audio out, the audio in. Four USB 2.0 ports, one FireWire 800, a mini display port, and also an Ethernet port to hook up to the internet. Now this does have built-in Wi-Fi, uh, but just in case if you needed to hook it up wired. Now you also get built-in 17 watt stereo speakers. These things actually sound pretty good and there's actually a lot of bass on them for being built-in speakers. So there's a built-in microphone, you got your built-in eyesight for iChat uh, and things like that. Now the mini display port actually supports in and out. So if you have a MacBook or MacBook Pro, you can actually hook that up to your iMac if you want a kind of a dual uh, CPU configuration. Taking a look at the side, you guys can see how thin this is. Uh, so it's pretty amazing how much they can fit in there. Uh, we get an SD card slot as well as the Apple SuperDrive. Now as we move to the internals of this iMac, we get a Core i5 Intel processor. The base clock speed is 2.8 gigahertz. Now this turbo boosts up to 3.3. So what that means, if you're using Final Cut, After Effects, anything that requires a really heavy intensive um, CPU power, this will boost when you need it. So uh, if you're just doing web browsing, it's going to also be smart about it and not uh, kick in the boost at the same time. So, very cool feature with the iMac. Uh, very helpful if you're doing some very intensive programs. Here's a quick little Geekbench uh, benchmark for you guys. You can see the score is very high. Now I'm going to do a lot more benchmarks uh, and more in-depth ones when I compare it to the i7, but I wanted to give you guys a little taste of performance. And like I said, the i5 is a great CPU and it's really going to uh, tear things up as far as performance goes. Alright, so at the end of the day, you're going to be spending about two grand on this. Now, if you have uh, been waiting for a while, if you're looking to upgrade maybe from a Core 2 Duo iMac, this is a great buy. Now, if you just picked one of the older uh, i5 iMacs that just came out a year ago, I wouldn't sweat it too much. It's not worth uh, throwing your uh, old i5 on eBay and picking one of these new ones up. You get a slight increase in speed and a little bit of bump uh, in the graphics card. The memory is slightly faster, but it's going to be uh, nothing too mind-blowing. Uh, like I said, it's about upgrading. So. Overall, I definitely say this machine is worth the money. Uh, the screen is fantastic. The 27 inches is absolutely ridiculous uh, for watching movies. Uh, kind of gives you that IMAX feel where you're just looking at the screen kind of in awe. So it's fast. Uh, you can actually play gaming very well on this. You got a gig of VRAM with the ATI card. So for those of you kind of looking for an all-in-one solution, like I said, it's not going to be a PC. Uh, so if there's any PC guys uh, watching, I'm not, I'm not saying it's the be-all, end-all gaming machine. Uh, it's not going to beat your custom PC for gaming, but for those of you who want a huge screen at a reasonable price, you don't got to custom build it. Uh, it's for surfing the web, editing videos, it's a great machine. Uh, so all in all, I can't really say enough about this. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, at two grand, it, it's a little bit pricey, but for what you get in there, it's definitely worth the money. And I definitely recommend it to anybody uh, looking to pick one of these up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope you guys uh, helped you guys a little bit with this. And as always, I will catch you next time.